The woods are a regular feature in fairy tales and lots of exciting things happen. In this particular story, Once Upon a Wild Wood by Chris Riddle, we discover that Little Green, who's down here, embarks on a journey through the wood. And I wonder just what might happen. So, towards the end of the story, we discover that there's been a party. And the party continued all night long. There were 12 dancing princesses who had made up their minds and were wearing out their dancing shoes. Rapunzel used her hair as a skipping rope and everyone took turns to skip in time to the harp's music. Little Red Riding Hood danced a show-stopping tango with the wolf while the three little pigs led the line dancing and the troll and the kindly old lady got to know each other. Everyone had a wonderful time, especially Beauty and the Beast. And here they are. So there's our 12 dancing princesses and Rapunzel and our three bears and the three little pigs and the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. And we've got our troll and kindly old lady and Beauty and the Beast. The next morning, Green woke up early. She put on her rain cape and picked up her backpack, but not her strong straight stick, which she had given to the beast as a present. Then, as the sun began to rise, she slipped away. I wonder, thought Green to herself as she continued on her way through the wild wood, what will happen next? For the way through the woods is dark and deep, with many a lesson to gauge, and the path you take is the story you make, each step a turn 